kal halal yam la yahawa bahasham shal yahawa shai bahasham akakwadash, which is ancient pure Hebrew for all praises to Yahweh, the Heavenly Father's only name, in the name of His Son Yahweh Shai, His Son's only name, in the Holy Spirit, which is a wisdom and understanding of His Holy, um, His Holy Scriptures. All right. The one is the apostles of great millstone, the apostles and elders of great millstone. Salutations to the sincere Akim that will be pushing the pre pushing the holy word, these prophecies in sincerity and truth. All right. Um, I'm gonna go into a lesson entitled This is not a drive through truth. All right. The truth is not a drive through or somewhere along the line, all right? Because you know, one hundred I've been, you know, Yahweh Hashem has been cut me in the spirit, and and you know He's preparing me to, or He's yeah, He's currently preparing me or or chastising me to grow, you know, and the conviction is heavy, it's heavy right now, you know, and you know, it's not um, you know. Before the apostles and elders, you know, bring, you know, bringing out these videos on order, videos on, on, on updates of, of mannerisms and attire and whatnot. Um, you know, Spirit has been correcting us and tightening things because things is getting, things is getting closer, closer to the end, you know. And, um, <coughs> you know, Spirit got on me to do this lesson. This is Jeremiah chapter 44, verse 4. Albeit I sent unto you all my servants the prophets, rising early and sending them, sending them saying, Oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. All right, and those servants of prophets would be Apo Bivins, High Priest Arya, Apostle Tahar, Apostle Gabar, Apostle Raka, Apostle Ramla, you know, and so forth. Roughly, you know, roughly. Listing, um, you know, how how we all came to this truth through the Spirit. All right? And then, you know, the most I woke them up first to warn us and to edify us who we are. And, you know, they've been, they've been in on it. And, you know, this is not something that, you know, you do on the weekends or something you just, you know, do now and then like a hobby. But this is a day-to-day -day thing. You know, every day, you know, it just don't stop, you know, it just don't stop, it's living waters, you know, that's what Isaiah 62, uh, verse 6, it says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night, ye that make mention of Yahweh, keep not silence, yeah, so, Whatever little that we have, we got to put it out. You know, Apostle, Apostle Tahir said, if you, I think he believed, I think he said, I was lucky if I'm not quoting him correctly. I think he said around six months, every six months in the street, we should be should putting out videos. And the decree came out that we should put out three videos every week. So, you know, just trying to get in that rhythm, you know, balance out time and whatnot. And, you know, and... Uh, 100 or what I, I dip on shit and as we say as we say on this land I've been doing shit I've been slothful and whatnot and you know I don't want to be one of those lord lord niggas one of those brothers was uh I don't know the brother name but you know did a, did a lesson and he mentioned that don't be one of those lord lord niggas meaning a man who said that you haven't I castle devil in your name haven't I do this amount of videos I got this channel so forth but yet he wasn't right with Yahweh Hashem or Shai. So, I gotta, you know, I gotta step up to the plate. And, you know, I pray every brother would examine himself and understand this, alright? Because we don't know who these videos are going out to. But we're commanded to by Yahweh Hashem or Shai through the Spirit and power of the Holy Spirit. Through the men that he set up. Alright? And the reward is great. Yeah, so let's go to uh, Sirach chapter 6. Well, this is basic precepts, but, you know, 
This is not a drive through. This is not something that you do once in a while, like a recharge, like those, you know, like those Christians whereby, you know, they go one week to this building, to this fool that's speaking on stage, and you tell them sweet words. Lock you. Tell them sweet words that they want to hear, and you know they eat it up, and that's it. Yeah, this is um. Sirach chapter 6, verse 32. My son, if thou wilt, thou wilt, thou shalt be taught. And that shows that, you know, um, that, you know, we, we, none of us learn of this ourselves, but through the Spirit and power of Yahweh and Yashai. And if thou wilt apply thy mind, thou shalt be prudent. Apply your mind. Apply your spirit to, to, to be in this, be in this word. So we got to, Make sure we sort out certain things and we're not going to get it perfect, you know, because the whole world is out of course and, you know, we would like to, would love to do things a certain way. But, you know, it's just, um, that's the way things are. Like I was watching a video with, um, from the Mississippi camp, uh, Banyami and Kazaka and, uh, Yasha, uh, if, I, if I'm saying my brother, name's right, and, um, you know, the name of the video is Invest in Eternity, something like that. It's like, let me just, it's supposed to be right here in my downloads. Yeah, Invest in Eternity and pray for, and pray for us brethren, yeah. So we gotta invest, invest and apply, all right? We can't be pulling up to the drive through we gotta be in the drive through And as whoever passed by, you know, we bring out this word, all right? Going down, it says, if, if thou love to hear, thou shalt receive understanding. Yeah, less talking and more hearing, less being distracted. You know, my brother was bringing out a precept, beautiful precept in uh, 1 Corinthians 7. It's like you're talking about being distracted. Thou shalt receive understanding, and if thou bow thine ear, thou shalt be wise. All right, if we humble ourselves, we shall be wise. Stand in the multitude of elders and cleave unto him that is wise. So we gotta be among the Akim. You know, another another you know brother from the Mississippi camp did a lesson. I believe it's the Ab and another brother. Um did a lesson whereby um forsake not a brotherhood, you know. It says, Stand in the multitude of elders and cleave unto him that is wise. Be willing to hear every godly discourse, right? Because that's what they're going to be bringing out. You know, and you can't have itching ears in this shoe just bouncing from different place to different place or taking it for granted. We got to be, we got to seek employment in, in the place that's bringing out this bread and this wine, you know, speaking parabolically, right? The bread being the truth, the wine being the truth as well. All right. Um, and let not the parables of understanding escape thee. All right. Don't let the parables of understanding escape you. Mean meaning what? These brothers will be discussing these things. We discuss these things over and over, and and you know with repetition comes learning. All right. And if thou seest a man of understanding, get thee be times unto him, and let thy foot wear the steps of his door. All right. I had a link up with brothers and so forth. I'm not saying you know be personal and pop up random hours and whatnot, but we gotta, you know, feed off each other's spirit, you know, roughly um in, in that in that sort of context because what scripture says a man shall resort unto his like. Right? And uh Sirach thirteen and one says, If thou be with a proud man thou shalt like shall thou shalt be likened unto him, roughly paraphrasing. So we just can't just do this thing now and then. We got to apply day to day, day to day. All right. So as if thou, verse 37, let thy mind, you mean spirit, lob, be upon thee, the ordinances of Yahweh. It's like it. If thy mind be upon the ordinances of Yahweh and meditate continually in his commandments, he shall establish thine, establish thine heart and give thee wisdom at thine own desire at thy own desire right establish make you grounded make you stand firm 
you know, so that we can endure these perilous times that are coming. So this is Sirach chapter 5 and verse 7. It says, Make no tiring to turn to Yahweh and put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of Yahweh come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Right? So we can't get distracted and comfortable. Yahweh's got to, you know, think and think of what the Spirit would want us to do. Um, know yourself in the office and so forth and apply it. You know? So let's go to, uh, was it 2 Timothy? Chapter 4 is a priest of the apostles. I always love to bring out to cut those lazy ass chicks out there. Second Timothy chapter 4, verse 2. It says, Preach the word. Says from one said the tone. It says, I charge thee therefore before Yahweh and the other one, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who will judge the quick and the dead in his appearing at his, at his kingdom. Alright? The quick and the dead. Alright? It says, Preach. The word being still he said he charge you right <laughs> preach the word be instant in season and out of season reprove rebuke exhort and with all luck and with all long suffering and doctrine long suffering mean mean to be patient right I'll be patient verse 3 for the time will come when they shall in the, in the will and they shall not endure some doctrine they added in you know carrying it out day to day they didn't apply it in every area of, of life of sound doctrine but after but after their own lusts shall they keep to themselves teachers having itching ears yeah that's going to happen if you you're slacking in in what Yahweh should call you to do you know it's more than going to camp it's more than going to class you know as a way of life It says, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be, and shall turn unto fables, unto you know, vain babbling, um, doctrines that are, that is not of edification and spiritual upliftment and spiritual nourishment. All right, this is Ezekiel thirty-three and verse thirty-one. All right, and this is the drive-through. <laughs> uh, let's start from. Seven thirty it says also thou son of man the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and at the doors of the houses speaking one to another every one to his brother saying come I pray you to hear what is the word that cometh forth from Yahweh all right so you to know, be curious like him and be curious but not be um sincere because you know they're really looking for the truth they feel they they got it they feel comfortable that's two thirds all right but we the men of the lord we know better so we gotta apply we already put our hands to the plow all right this is just an exhortation to brothers and you know using my my own experiences as a rebuke because you know i'm going to look back at, at my videos through the spirit and you know see what the spirit reveal unto me and see my growth level you know I learned that from uh, um, I was taught that from that brother, uh, shucks, I forgot, Camp Dallas, I believe it's Dallas, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I taught the one, yeah. All right. It says, um, verse 31, and they come unto thee as the people, as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people. Yeah, they're going to make it sport. They're going to, they're gonna make jokes and whatnot. They're gonna listen for a while, and they hear, and they hear the words, but they will not do them. That's the drive-through. That's what I'm implying, you know. They they receive whatever, but they 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 listen to it, but they didn't hear it, you know. They didn't understand. They didn't perceive. They didn't um, discern or whatnot. The what we're trying to tell them through the spirit, but they will will do, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they shew much love, but their heart goeth after covetousness. Alright? So they can pass through and say, Yeah, much respect. Yeah. Yeah, Esau is the devil, so called white race, the red Edom, the red heap, 
rare Hebrew Edomites. Yeah. Yeah, this nation, good on America, Babylon. Yeah, fire upon Babylon and apostasy, stupid shit like Rastafari or Salam wa alaikum and them nonsense. You know? And they feel they know what's going on, but they don't know. You know, they keep walking on and stumbling in darkness. Read right back to the one, and they come unto thee as a people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them, for with their mouth they shew much love, but their heart goeth after their corporate. <sighs> they're fucking there for their own purpose, their own gain, and they're not seeking to be how bash and your shy will. Verse 32 And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play the in and can play well on an instrument for they that hear thy words, but they do them not. Right, and that's what we is to them. They a sport or some means of entertainment. They they got some they, they laugh and whatnot and they see certain images chosen and it and it click bait and whatnot. But they don't apply the words, they they learn nothing, they don't make notes. So we don't wanna be like like two thirds. We don't wanna be lukewarm, so to speak. You know, that word hasn't come up in a while. We wanna be lukewarm. Lukewarm. All right? We don't wanna Go to the drive through, get get whatever we get, and just rest it down. We gotta apply, study, and pray and fast. You know, um, meet up with the Akim, anoint yourself, research and on different things. You know, and bring all this information through Spirit. It says verse three, and and when this come to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet has been among them. Yeah, so we don't want to be, you know. Half, half, halfway, one foot in is called, it's half ass it because one foot in, one foot out. Yeah, so it's Revelation chapter 3, on verse 19. It says, As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Yeah, because Yahweh Shai is going to rebuke us in, in the spirit through men, through men that he set up, all right? Through men that he set up, they're gonna rebuke us, and you know, you know, you're gonna hear the spirit telling you they don't do a shit, and then you're gonna read certain things, you're gonna see certain things, and the spirit is gonna correct you as well, all right? But that's how the love to keep you going, and you know, I'm being rebuked right now, and and we and it says be zealous therefore and repent. So, um. I just want to put out that zeal, that that one hundred percent Yahweh not that ninety nine percent, or any any anything below a hundred, you know. So verse twenty. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice, and open the door, I will come in to him, and will sup with him, and he with me. All right, and what I mean, I mean spending quality time. You want to be with Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, going through the precepts. You know, there's so many things you could. There's Bible audios. There's uh, uh, yeah, certain videos you could download and listen to and whatnot. You know, there's so much things you you can do through spirit and and um, you know, we just gotta apply to the best of our ability, right? It says um, to him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame. And I'm set down with my father in his throne. All right? That's our reward if we continue to endure and continue to put out the thing. And, and, and you know, and, and you see our track record would be flawless. We don't want to be um, rebuked on the day of judgment. All right? By those missiles. Our son too says, He that hath him here, let him hear. What the Spirit saith unto the churches, all right? And with that, I pray that's the symbol that he find. And you know, to Allah for tuning in, to Allah for tuning in, to for putting the Spirit on me to do a lesson. And all praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Bashem Kakodash, double honesty, apostle, and also free from stone. And uh, Shalom to all you Akim out there. Prakatah.